Hi guys, in this first video, or at least first example of uh, normal distribution percentage calculations, we're going to start with the standard normal distribution. So, the standard normal, okay, distribution, sometimes I'm going to abbreviate distribution with just distrib, okay, this is also called the Z distribution. So AKA also known as Z distribution. Okay? This is a specific type of normal distribution where mu is equal to 0 and standard deviation is equal to 1. So as you know, normal distributions can be distinguished by their mean and standard deviation. So when mu is 0 and sigma is 1, you have the standard normal distribution, sometimes just called the Z distribution. And remember, if you watch my video on the normal distribution tables, that the actual percentages that that table had was for the standard normal distribution or Z distribution. So this is going to be a very important distribution in, in all our work with normal distributions. But first, what I want to start with is just some very basic questions on the standard normal. So let's assume that we have a standard normal random variable. And typically, we give it the letter Z. Okay, <clears throat> And let's start out with a real basic question. Let's say, what percentage of data is from z equals 0 to z equals, let's say, 0.93. Okay. First thing I always do is I draw a picture. So if we're told that this is a standard normal distribution with mu of 0 and sigma of 1, we already know quite a bit. So we could draw a normal curve, right? We're justified in drawing a normal curve. And we also know the center of this distribution is 0, it's the mean, because mu equals 0. And this axis is the z-axis. You could put somewhere on the left that this row right here, this guy right here, are z-values. Okay? Because as we get to more complicated questions, I'm going to introduce an x-axis because we might start talking about something more interesting like heights and weights and incomes and, and things like that. Okay? So now let's use red to actually shade in the area that we're interested in for this first question. So let's call this question one. What percentage of, what percentage of the data is from z equals 0 to z equals 0.93? Well, 0.93 is definitely to the right of 0. So we can kind of pen that in and the general location we think it would be. These pictures are very important in the beginning because they're maps. Okay, The accuracy of them is not completely accurate, but it's definitely relatively accurate. 0.93 has to be to the right of 0. Where exactly over here it falls is not important for us really. Okay, So we want from 0 to 0.93, so we have to shade the area that we're interested in, which is this area. right? So this is converting the wording of the question to a picture. And once you've done this, you start to realize what it is that we actually need to get here. Let me put this in green. Sometimes in the very beginning, it might be good to even make a nice box. That is ultimately what we want. We want to get this percentage. Okay. So in order to get anything from here on, we need to consult the table. And as I showed you in the video where I introduced my table, this table that I'm using right here tells me the probability or percentage of data from z equals 0 to z equals 
the value that you look up. That's what this up here is telling you. Okay, so if you're using a different table, just you got to do this part in slightly a different way, depending on the table you're using. There's a number of different tables. This is one of the few out there. Okay, so for us, we want to get from zero to one. 2.93 so we look up point z equals 0.93 remember the z's are in the first row and first column so 0.93 that's how you match them up and you square in and you'll get 0.3238 so in this picture that would mean if I replace this z with 0.93 the area between 0 and 0.93 represented by this shaded region in orange here is equal to 32.38 percent okay and that's exactly what we wanted so this is the simplest type of question where we're asked from the 0 to a positive z value okay let's go back to our picture And we see that's oh, taking a second to refresh. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. We see that this is exactly what we got here thirty two point three eight percent. Okay, so that's how that's the percentage of data from 0 to positive 0.93 notice that this question asked me z values so this was very straightforward okay the table that we use use is the z distribution the question was asking about z values so it was a very straightforward question and on top of that the question asked us to get the percentage of data from 0 to some value so we had a nice simple anchor point which was zero and what you'll see in subsequent videos is for example that this is not always the case we might be interested in some area that doesn't start from zero let's say something here right this is not zero and this is not zero so how do we deal with that well that's a couple steps ahead but this will be the first example and then we'll build on this so thanks for watching be sure to check out the video on the table if that table was somewhat alien to you and also subscribe to my channel and watch the other examples because this is only one of many to come alright till next time have a great day